Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a classic parametric window. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new family. Scroll down and look for metric window. And then press open. As you can see, we have the interior part below and the exterior part above. So if we go to the exterior elevation, you will find that there are reference planes that are already been made and we're going to work on that. Let's check family types. And as you can see, the dimension here it's already pre-installed as a parameter. So if we change the width, this will move. And as well as the height. So I'm going to undo that. And right here below, you can see that you can change the sail height for the window. So now, to start, let's click on reference plane. And we're going to add reference plane right here. Above. And then below. Press escape. And then now, we're going to add, we're going to click the reference plane that we created. And we're going to change the dimensions. So here, we're going to put 450. And then on the sides, we're going to click this. And we're going to change that to 150. And then 150 as well. And then below, we're going to change that to 300. So now what we have to do is we have to add dimensions. So click this one. And then we're going to lock it from this end. So if this moves, this will be moved as well. So let's do it here. Also here. And then this one as well. So now let's start in with our extrusions. Press escape with this. So we're going to create the top sweep for this. So now we need to rename this. Click the name and change it to top sweep. And then enter. And then we now need to go to our reference level. So here we just need to add a reference plane on this wall. And then lock it. And then we need to add another one. So this reference line, so that when we when you have different kinds of sizes for the thickness, it will change as well. So here we're gonna click this and then we're gonna move this onto the wall and change the thickness to 150. So let's check the dimension here. It's 153. So just what 250. And then we need to add dimension. So click the line on the wall that we created and this line. 
or you can do it on this side so it's easy to click and then lock it and then now zoom in a little bit and then we're gonna create our sweep so click sweep here and then you need to set the work plane and then set it to the top sweep that we created and then press OK and then after that click modify and sweep again and then sketch path after that select line and then create your path once the path is um, created press escape and then click on align we need to select the reference plane that we added on the wall so select this reference plane and then select the dot and then lock it select the reference plane again and then the dot here and then lock it so if you change if we change the thickness this will follow as well so press escape and then click finish and then after that we need to go to our left elevation or actually our exterior and then we need to edit profile so here we're gonna create our profile like so so now I'm gonna start with a rectangle something like that so I'll make this 150 and then let's create some lines And then this one, I'm basically just checking my design. need to close it and then now I'm just gonna change some of the profile so with this one I'm gonna change this to curve so for me it's, it was easy to just replace it after I created the form
so this is good so I'm gonna finish it and then finish so here this is the design that we created let's look at it at 3d so it looks good let's go back to our reference level as you can see it's not showing so what you have to do is you need to click here and change this to floor plan we're gonna change our view range so here go to edit and just put unlimited here on all of them and then put in an extra zero and then apply and as you can see it's showing now so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add more extrusion so here I'm gonna click this rectangle and I'm gonna close this off and then after that lock everything so everything will follow once we flex or change the width or height before that go to exterior or the 3d and then click this and then now we need to pull it down And then lock it and then pull it down again and then lock it so everything is level so that's done we can make that more looking good if we click join geometry click this geometry and this geometry and then as you can see it hides the extrusion that we created and it looks uh, a lot like a one piece that we created so next let's create the side trim here so let's go to our exterior elevation so click X extrusion and click on rectangle and we're going to add it like that and then lock it and then finish go to reference level and just move this like so and then lock it so this one is already locked so let's check it at 3d something like this let's copy this so let's go back to reference level select this extrusion and then copy and then here we just need to make sure that everything is locked and go back to 3D to check and then let's go back to reference level we're gonna just put some design here so to do that 
we're going to create a void form, void extrusion. And then here, we're just going to design something like so. And then let's copy this or let's mirror this So something like that and then let's lock this like that And then we can actually copy this as well. So I'm going to copy all of this like that. And then make sure to align and lock it. Once everything is good, Click finish and then go to 3D and let's move it all the way down like that. Lock this and this one like so. In order for this to show, we need to cut geometry. So click the extrusion and then the void. So as you can you notice the void disappeared here or it's not showing because we did the cut on this side and if we do this cut it's not appearing as well. So let's fix that. I'm going to edit this. Go to reference plane. So I'm going to remove this first, but I'm going to copy this. And then click finish. And then now let's add in another void form, void extrusion. And then let's paste this. Like so. And then click finish. And then go to 3D. To do this part. I'm going to align this, so AL. I'm going to choose this void and choose this. So before that, let's move this for now. like that so everything is le leveled and then we just need to cut geometry and this will show
after this, let's create the bottom sweep. So let's go to elevation and then click this and then rename it as seal or bottom and then after that go to reference level and let's create the exact sweep so set this the bottom press ok and then go back to modify sweep and then sketch path so this will be our sketch path area after that press align and then align this dot align this reference plane and the dot and then lock it and then after that go back to exterior elevation and we can begin creating our profile so click finish and then edit profile and then now let's begin creating our profile here so usually I start with rectangle something like that and then from here I'm just checking the alignment of here I'm just gonna extend it a little bit here like so I'm gonna change that later on or we could just do it now change back to line and then let's delete this line and trim this and we could just do this one for now and then click finish finish check it in 3d so it looks too big I'm gonna edit that So let's edit this profile and notch this like so and then click finish and then finish check it again and it looks good so now we just need to fill the gap here so go back to reference level and then extrusion and then just click the rectangle and do it like so don't forget to lock everything click finish and then just put it down up to the base and click the lock and this one as well 
and then the lock as well and then after that we just go to modify and then join them together so it looks good so next we're gonna create the frame and the glass so to do this let's go to our exterior elevation again and we have to add in more reference plane so let's add it now So now this one, I want this to be around 50 for the frame. And then this, I want it to be 50 as well. So the frame thickness be 50. And then after that, don't forget to lock them all together. And then after that, let's create the extrusion. So here, just creating a rectangle. Lock them all together. And then this one as well. And then I should have created more lines here. So I'm just going to click finish for now and check it on the le reference level. So here I'm just going to notch this a little bit like that. I'll make sure to lock this. And then for this, I'm going to add in a reference line for the thickness. So I'm going to add it like so. I'll check the distance. So this will be 50. And then I'm going to lock this. And don't forget to lock this as well. Go back to exterior. And then add in more reference plane. Gonna add reference plane here. And then for this, so 
So let's fix this now. So this will be 25. Change this here. This will be 250. This will be 50. This will be 50. I'm going to connect this one here. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to maintain this part, this three to be equal. So go here and then let's put an equal on this. Oh, sorry. So we need to lock this first at the top. This will be a different height. This will be all three will be equal. So after that, then this and this like so, and then change this to 50. So this one's good. I'm going to edit this. Uh, I forgot to lock this. Okay. Action would uh, oh, okay, stretch. It's good. After that, we need to split element. Okay, so now we need to trim.
so we forgot to split this so and then TR to trim again and then don't forget to delete some of this extra lines and then let's see if this is good go to reference level and check and then go to 3d that looks good so now let's do the glass so go to exterior and then click extrusion and then the glass will be like so so I'm just using a rectangle and then lock this And lastly, click finish and check it on reference level. So we need to push this out like that and then click this. And then what I'm going to do is because I want the glass to be extruded inside I'm gonna add a reference level on that area so here up to here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock it then I'll make sure this one is locked like so check it in 3d so it looks good so now let's add in the material parameter so once I'm going to select everything. So I'm going to select this instead. So all of this you have to click associate parameter here. This will be trim make it instant press ok and then press ok next press escape this will be the frame click this again frame and then make it instant and lastly the glass And then press OK. And as you can see, 
we created a parametric window. If you go to family type, you can see that we created a material parameter as well. So if we check this one, once we apply this, everything changed and everything everything moved as well. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.